Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I am very excited to bring you the new release products for Flavorista. Uh, this is their new brochure. These were released at the conference in August of 2021. My stock has finally arrived, so I have them to show you. Uh, there are 10 brand new products. I'll go through them each one by one, but I will just let you know a little bit about the company. So I've been involved with Flavorista for around about four years when they launched. It is an Australian business that has a full range of certified gluten-free products. They are also nut-free and there are spice blends, uh, flavoured salts, uh, chocolate powders, we have nut-free dookers, oils, balsamics, uh, all sorts of goodies. So they bring out a new catalogue each year with the new product. So this is it this year. And what I do love about it is it still includes things like great pictures and great recipes. And it does also give some in the back of the book. It gives you details as well about the new ebooks that are available. So if you're interested in those, I'll pop my details down below. Shoot me an email, send me a message, find me on Facebook, and I will be able to send something through to you. So just amazing, this business. And I'm so happy to be a part of them. So let, without further ado, let me show you what the new products are. So I've just got them here beside me, and I'll go through them one by one with you. We've got four spice blends we've got two chocolate powders there's a nut free dukkha and there's also an oil and a balsamic as well as a dessert sauce so let's get stuck into the spice blends to start with this one is called Thai it which is your Thai blend so what I'll do is I'll just read at the back for you and give you some of the ingredients as well so this beautiful blend of classic Thai herbs and spices is all you need to make a colourful, spicy, fragrant and creamy curry at home. Use two tablespoons per 500 grams of meat or veg or dial it back to one tablespoon for all the flavour with less heat. I tend to do that with some of my spice blends as well. Um, I, my son is almost 12 and he is not such a hot spicy person, but we still do like the flavours. So I just tone some of them down and they're quite okay for him. So the ingredients are onion, garlic, lemon peel, lime powder, lemongrass powder, kaffir lime leaf powder, chilli flakes, basil, chives, Galangal, cumin, coriander, ginger, black pepper and white pepper. So I will actually, because the packets are white, you can't see them, I will organise some pictures and pop them up for you. Uh, so I'll do some bit editing later just so you can see what the product look like, looks like as well. So that's that one. Uh, there's around about 20 tablespoons in a packet, so you sort of get 10 to 15 meals out of each one. Then the next one is tikka masala. So that's what the packet looks like. And there again, it gives you all the details on the back. Uh, this beautiful blend of exotic and fragrant with all the hard work done for your midweek dinners or weekend entertaining. Originally known as tomato gravy, you can easily create a traditional tikka masala at home with pantry basics to satisfy every taste at the table. The ingredients are cumin seeds, sweet paprika, garlic yellow mustard seeds, lemon peel, onion, coriander, black pepper, cinnamon, turmeric, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, cloves, chilli flakes, bay leaf powder. So as you can see, there's no preservatives, there's no additives, there's no fillers in any of these. So what you see is what you get, which makes them taste amazing. You don't need to use as much and it just brings out such great flavour. Then we have <clears throat> a stuff it. So we can see a little bit of a trend here. There's a little bit of a play on some of the names as well. So this beautiful blend of fennel, oregano and rosemary is the ultimate chunky stuffing blend for all your classic roasts. So fragrant and easy to use for all your meat and veggie stuffing. Think mushrooms, capsicums, pumpkin, zucchini, cobloves, porchetta, turkey, chicken and rolled roast. The ingredients are garlic, pink Himalayan salt, fennel seeds, cracked black pepper, rosemary, onion, oregano, thyme parsley and basil so this one you could even just you know sprinkle it on your veggies and roast it and things like that as well so there's just so many different uses for all of them then we have a smoke it so this beautiful blend of sweet paprika garlic onion and natural smoke flavor is going to lift your barbecue to get the ultimate flavor without the wood chips and mess 
Smoke meats and cheese, add to burgers, rub on roast, sprinkle on melted cheese or mix into damper. Yum. That sounds like very, very versatile. The ingredients are garlic, onion, sweet paprika, pink Himalayan salt, lemon peel, mustard powder, chilli powder, coriander, natural smoke powder, black pepper, cumin, bay leaf, ginger, thyme and white pepper. So that is amazing. So that's our four spices. Then we've got a, a dukkha mix, which is a nut-free dukkha. And this one is a bush tomato. So this is actually adding on to the flavours that they have had in the last 12 months. They've been bringing some Aussie bush spices into their mixes and they have been very, very popular. So this beautiful blend of toasted seeds, sweet, rich, rich, Bush tomato, lemon and pepper is zesty and the perfect topping for a green salad, vegetables, poached eggs and avo. Also pair with one of our beautiful olive oils as a dip or mix into breadcrumbs to liven up your schnitzels and crumb fish. The ingredients are sunflower seeds, pepitas, bush tomato, white sesame seeds, lemon peel, old man salt bush, Cracked black pepper, marjoram, pink Himalayan salt, celery seed and coriander seed. Yum. I think that one would also be really nice on a, like a baked brie or something to do with a cheese platter. I think it would be amazing. Then on to our sweet ones. We have gingerbread. Now this one is a very familiar to some of us. This was actually a special that came out for Christmas. And being so popular, they've actually brought it into the range permanently. So this beautiful blend of the rich chocolate and warm spice are like a nice warm hug. Add to your fruit cake, rum balls and cheesecake. Stir two tablespoons into one cup of whipped cream for a sweet dip and serve with seasonal fruit. Add one tablespoon to one cup of warm milk for a gingerbread hot chocolate delight. So this one is a, being a chocolate powder, it is a sweet one. So it does have sugar, icing sugar, cocoa powder. It's got your coconut blossom sugar, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, allspice, coriander and pepper. So this one is a delicious one, but it is that, that sweet, savoury little mix. So uh, they, at Christmas time, there were quite a few of the girls put them into like your gingerbread for Christmas to give you that chocolate gingerbready taste and very, very delicious. Then our other chocolate powder is a Mulga Jewel chocolate powder. So this beautiful blend of white chocolate, lemon myrtle and native strawberry gum spice is scrumptious fruitiness in a packet. Mulga Jewel crashes push bikes. Oh, hang on a minute. Here we go. Mulga, Mulga Bill crashes push bikes into Dead Man's Creek. Mulder Jill smashes out killer desserts every time. And you will too, with both taste and texture, when you add this to cheesecakes, cupcakes, frosting, muffins, custard and ice cream. So it has your base of your sugar, your skim milk powder, it's got your flavour, like your strawberry gum powder and your lemon melted powder with your strawberry flavour as well. So that one does sound very delicious and very unusual. Then we have an oil to add to the collection, which is yuzu. So, and you can see what these ones look like. So I won't put pictures at the top, but the ones in the packet, I'll pop them into little containers so you can see what they look like. So this beautiful blend of Australian olive oil, sesame and mandarin flavours is the perfect citrus and sesame combo. Use on meat, fish or chicken. Drizzle on steamed veggies and stir fries. Mix one teaspoon with half a cup of whole egg mayo for a yuzu mayo and serve with roast potatoes. Substitute butter for yuzu oil in your cake mix. Please use sparingly, this Asian beauty is full of flavour. So we have found that with a couple of the oils, is you don't need to use as much as what you would with a, a normal oil because they are very, very flavourful. You can even add this, if you needed to do a dressing with more oil, you can even add it to just a plain oil as well. So that's that one. Then we have a flavoured balsamic. This is toffee apple. And you can tell this is actually a clear glass bottle. So you can see how deliciously thick and gooey that one is. 
So this beautiful blend of caramelised balsamic vinegar and classic toffee apple flavours will take you back to childhood. Each mouthful is like a little carnival in your mouth. Drizzle on salads, desserts, fruit, hard and soft cheeses. Pairs beautifully with pork, chicken, duck and fish. Yummy. So that one, I think we can see lots of things coming into summer with that in our salads and on our entertaining plates. And last of all, we have a dessert sauce. This is chopped cherry. And these are, again, again, these are clear plastic bottles. So you can actually see that is the chocolatey sauce in there. And there's not even an air bubble for me to be able to show you what that one looks like. It's very, very thick. The last dessert sauce that we do have is very, very thick and it is delicious. So this one, I imagine, is going to be very nice as well. This beautiful blend of chocolate sauce and rich cherry is perfect for drizzling over cupcakes, pav, fruit tarts, waffles, cheesecakes, fresh fruit, French toast, ice cream and pancakes. Let's just call it the little black dress in your pantry. It goes with any dessert occasion. So this one, I think my husband was mixing the berry sauce with the chocolate sauce and getting a cherry ripe I think that this one will probably be all in one bottle for him so that does sound amazing so that's our new products that we have so we've got the dessert sauce we've got the two chocolate powders for the sweet tooth we've got these three then we have our bush tomato our olive oil and our toffee apple balsamic and then our four spices, we have smoke it, we have stuff it, we have tie it, and lastly, the tikka masala. So I have all of those, my stock has come, so I will have all, stock of all of those at my markets from now onwards. Um, or also, alternatively, you can contact me if you are local, I can drop them off for you, or you can shop via my website, which is down below. So the pantry packs that are in the catalogue, since they've changed the catalogue, I will just show you what the pantry packs look like. So they, are, they call them social packs. So they do have packs where you can get the different products in them at a discount they're available on my website and also if you see me at the market there's all sorts of specials that happen and i imagine that they will also be included in the pantry packs which is your um, monthly subscription that you can also get for 33 dollars if you wanted to sign up for one of those uh, the form is actually um I can email it to you so you can contact me on the email address below you get to receive two products a month delivered to your door uh, shipping included for $33 so you save up to up to $10 $15 sometimes a little bit more if they're having a super special deal so it's a great way to um, experiment with the different flavors in your kitchen so that's what I have for you today. I was very excited and very happy to open it all for you. Um, I haven't heard of any items that are coming off the list, so these will be all completely new added to the product line. Um, come and see me at the markets. Come and try them. If you'd like to have a home tasting, let me know. I'm more than happy to organise that for you. If you have any questions, please pop them down below. Shoot me a message. What do you think? Did you like them? Give me a thumbs up if you do. What do you think you might want to create with them? Um, I'm happy to send out some samples as well. We'd love to know your ideas. In the meantime, take care. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.